Assalamualaikum taala wabarakatuh. Today we going to discuss about the graphical analysis of velocity. Alright, first of all, what you need to do is for you to know how to draw a perpendicular and parallel line. <coughs> okay, so let's say you want to draw a perpendicular line from the link number 2 here. So you can use your set square and move somewhere else that you want to draw. And you can start to draw a perpendicular line. So this line now is perpendicular to the link number 2. So another example, if you want to draw a parallel line from the link number 3 here, so you use the same method and you can draw a parallel line. All right? So let's say you have another line, which is a line AB. You can use a ruler instead of another set square. But you can move somewhere else and draw a parallel line of CD. Now, you already know how to draw a perpendicular and parallel line. So we can start to draw a velocity polygon. However, before you start to draw a velocity polygon, you need to make sure that the position of the mechanism is accurate. Normally in the exam question, the drawing is not that accurate. Therefore, you need to draw an accurate position of the mechanism on your answer sheet. For example, the distance from O2 to O4, here is 8 cm. The distance from O2 to B is 3.5 cm. The distance from B to D is 10 cm. And the distance from D to O4 is 9 cm. So you have to draw exactly 8 cm, 3.5 cm, 10 cm and 9 cm exactly on your paper. Or you can use a scale. You can use any scale that you want. But please bear in mind to put down the scale that you use on your answer sheet. Even though you use your scale one to one scale. Okay, now go back to your example here, right? So you have the four bar mechanism here, which is link number two is your input link. Uh, the input link here is very important because it is where you start your velocity polygon. And then the given uh, the rotational speed for input is 350 RPM. The first thing that you need to do is to convert the value of RPM into radian per second as shown in the example. Then after that, you need to Calculate the value of linear velocity of point B here. All right. So how to calculate the linear velocity of point B? It is to, to multiply the rotational speed of link number 2 with the distance from B to O2. If you multiply both of the value, you can get the value of 128 cm per second. You need to use a proper scale before you draw a velocity polygon. You can use whatever scale that you want, but please bear in mind the size of paper that you use. Because too large scale, we make draw your drawing is too small, or too small scale, we make your drawing your drawing is not enough on your paper. In this example, the scale you use is one centimeter is equal to twenty five cent centimeter per second. So if you try to draw 128 centimeter per second it gives you value of 5.12 centimeter on your paper so you need to draw this 5.12 centimeter on your answer sheet so how to draw it you need to draw a perpendicular line from the link number two and you need to start with ov why the ov ov is the ground or the origin of your velocity polygon. This OV will represent all the ground of your velocity polygon. Okay, the next step is to draw a linear velocity or to find the point D for your velocity polygon. How to do that? You need to draw another perpendicular line from the link number three all right, and then uh, to start at point B, that intersect with the point B, I mean, and then another line perpendicular from the link number four 
that intersect with the OV. Why it intersect with the OV? Because the link number 4 is connected to the O4 which is at the ground and link number 3 is connected to the point B. Alright, so that's, that's why you need to draw intersect with the OV as well as at point B. So now you can get your velocity polygon. However, the question is asked you to find theta 3 dot and theta 4 dot, right? So how to calculate the theta 3 dot? To calculate the theta 3 dot, you need to know the distance between BD, the velocity polygon of your BD, right? You use your ruler to measure it. And then you got, uh, for example, 10 centimeter, the distance, as well as the position between OV and D for theta 4 dot, right? So both of the mention is 10 centimeter as well as 6.72 centimeter. And I use this value time with your scale, then you can get the velocity of BD as well as velocity of D, uh, which is 250 centimeter per second as well as 168 centimeter per second respectively. So use this information, you can calculate the theta 3 dot, which is uh, represented by this equation. Um, and then use your 250 centimeter per second, divide by the link number 3, which is 10 centimeter. Then you can get 25 radian per second, which is your theta 3 dot. So what's happened to your theta 4 dot? Theta 4 dot is the same thing. You need to divide VD to the R4, which is 168 centimeter per second, divide by 9, you can get 18.7 radian per second. So that is your theta 3 and theta 4 dot. Okay, now we use the same example but a little bit twist where we introduce another point C in the mechanism where the point C is on the link number 3. Alright, so with this additional uh, point C, we, you need to find the velocity of C with respect to the, to the ground. How you want to do it? The same as before. You can uh, start with the link number uh, 2 uh, at point B, definitely. Then you need to draw a perpendicular line of the link number 3, which is intersect at point B, as well as another link perpendicular of link number 4 that intersect with the OV. You can get as uh, po the velocity polygon as before. Now, you've got a point C. How, how to draw this? You can uh, draw... A perpendicular line from the BC which is start at a point B uh, as shown all right and then another perpendicular line from the C D and start at the point D and then the intersection there will be your point C how to know the value of uh, BC or velocity of point C you need to connect the point C with the with the ground and then the dimension there the distance from the OV and C is the uh, represent the velocity of point C which is 7.2 centimeter you need to time with the scale which is 25 centimeter per second then you get 181 centimeter per second all right so for this slide is explain to you how to draw a velocity image you can uh, read at your own time. Uh, I'll show you how to draw a velocity image using an example. Okay, in this example, you have a slider crack mechanism where you have an input link of link number 2 with a rotational speed of 500 rpm. Okay, as before, the first thing you need to do is to convert the 500 rpm into radian per second. And then, the first point that you need to draw in your velocity polygon is a point, point B. First, you need to calculate the speed of point B, which is in here you get, get 183 inch per second. Of course, you need to draw to the scale. In this example, you use one inch equal to 40 inch per, per second. So if you want to draw 183 inch per second, you can get 4.6 inch. And then this uh, 4.6 inch is must be a perpendicular from the link number number two 
and then it start off the OB position and then the next one is for you to draw a perpendicular line from the link number 3 starting at uh, that intersect with the po uh, point B right so you got those two points OV and B now you want to find a point D the problem is you do not have another link from the ground to D right but you know the slider of link number four is like horizontally from the ground so from here you can draw a horizontal line from the ov all right like so so this horizontal the intersection between this horizontal line where uh, with the perpendicular line from the link number three is your pointy so you've got your velocity polygon here so if you measure the distance between B to D, you can get 3.45 inch, which is represent the velocity of BD. If you time with the scale, you can get 138 inch per, per second. This value is can be used to calculate theta, theta 3 dot. If you could try to calculate the theta 3 dot, you need to divide by the link number 3. The distance from B to D, which is 9 inch. So 138 divided by 9, you can get 15.3 radian per, per second. Alright, so the next step is to find a point C. Right? How to find a point C? First, you need to observe the distance from B to D. B to D is 9 inch, B to base of the C is 3 inch as shown in the example so you can get the ratio between uh, b to base of c the ratio is one to three so if you can use the same ratio from b to d in the velocity polygon you can get 1.15 inch so basically you need to divide 3.45 inch divide by 3 you can get 1.15 inch and you mark that distance and then another distance, which is the distance of 6 inch from the base of point C here to the point C, right? Basically, uh, you need to time 1.15 times 2, which is 2.3 inch. And then that distance gives you a point C. So that's how you use a velocity image. Velocity image is not my preferred method i use um, i prefer the previous method we use uh, velocity polygon so you don't have the headache to where to draw how to calculate the scale and so on all right but that's an example uh, that's a option for you if you want to use so your objective here to find the velocity of point c how to find it you need to connect between point c to the to the ground uh, so sorry to the ground here and then you need to measure the distance from C to the ground. And then after that, you need to time with the scale. So with that, you can get VC, which is 9 inch per, per second.